One, two, three, four, five. Hands and fingers come alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. To help our fingers hold a pen. Finger magic! For our finger magic job this week, we are going to be making our own bugliest bug. We are going to make a little insect or an arachnid or a beetle or a fly or a worm. We're going to create our own little creepy crawly. So for this job, we need to use our fingers and our thumbs. We're going to have some Play-Doh. So if you need to make some, I will put the video for making Play-Doh that Joanne made on this assignment. When you've got your Play-Doh, we need to squish it and squash it. You want to make nice little balls, some spheres of Play-Doh. This one's going to be too big for my bug. I want my bug to be small, so I'm going to break it off. I'm going to pinch it with my fingers. Going to roll, roll, roll. There we go. This one I'm going to take a tiny little bit off. Going to roll, roll, roll. There we go. I've got an even smaller ball of dough. And then the last one, roll, roll, roll. There we go. Now, I'm going to make my insect. I'm going to stick these two together like this. And then I'm going to put a little one on there for the head. Whoops. Now, if you find like me that they're falling off, what we can do is use different things to stick it together. Now, in nursery, I've got lots of different things. I've got matchsticks, feathers, little bits of card, coloured shapes, sequins. I've got fluffy pipe cleaners. I've got straws. I've got pasta. Lots of different things. See what you have at home, what you can use. So what I'm going to do is get my little matchstick and I'm going to put one in there, one in there and push them together. That will keep them on. Then I'm going to get another matchstick and I'm going to put the little head on. I'm going to push that in and then push it into the body just like that. There we go. Fantastic. There we go. I've got my bug's body. Now let's see. I might give it some antennae. Might give it some antennae. So to do that, I'm going to get my pipe cleaner, just get it untangled, twist, 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 there we go, and I might put these on its head, just like that, squash them into the door, squash them, squash them in, till it stays, there we go, I've got some antennae, now I might need to give it some, some legs. So I'm going to get my straws. These legs are a bit long. I might get some scissors and snip them. There we go. I might have two legs there, one on each side. Get some more. Snip it in half. Whoops. I'm going to stick those in. Now I've got one, two, three, four legs. Oh, insects generally have six legs. So I'm going to make sure he's got six legs. Three on each side. There we go. Oh, I need to push this into his head more so his antennas don't fall off. There we go. Fantastic. Whoops. Oh, keep them to one side. There we go. It's starting to look like a bug. Now what I might need to do is give him some texture. I'm going to give him a little pattern on his back by pressing the play the pasta into the play-doh. There we go. Look at that. Give him a little pattern. Can you see the pattern that it's making? Fantastic. These might be good for his antenna as well. Yeah. Keep those in there. They're even better. Put this away. That's not very good. Fantastic. Now I might do some more patterns on him. You might have some of these on his back like this. There we go. Ooh, get one more. I have a nice purple one. Put that on his body. Then I'm going to get some eyes. My insect's going to have lots of eyes. Not just one. Not just two, not just three. It's going to have four eyes. And I want him to have a little red tongue, so I'm going to snip a little bit from a straw and give him a little red tongue for eating. There is my insect. 
one, two, three legs on that side, one, two, three on there. All together that makes one, two, three, four, five, six legs. Ah, oh, fantastic. Now, see if you can use Play-Doh and things you have at home to make your own bugliest bug. Good luck, everybody.